Hello, my name is Jerry and welcome to 3D Printing and Painting. In today's video we're going to talk about Arion TPU. I've been printing uh, basically for two and a half years now on PLA, with PLA and ABS and I've never once tried TPU. Well, Arion got a hold of me and wanted me to test out their TPU, so I got their blue. It's called Trans Blue, Translucent I guess is what that means. And uh, I printed out quite a bit of stuff. I've never tried it before. And I'd like to show you some of my prints and uh, show you what I got here. First thing I'd like to say about Arion TPU is that it is very flexible. It's a little flexible here as you can see. And uh, unlike uh, PLA, it won't break. It's almost like a rubber. It's not, but almost. And it printed very nice. And the first thing I started out with here today, of course, I had to do a benchy. Now, my, I, I done a little research online before I started printing with TPU, and I found that a lot of people had trouble with stringing and uh, such, and their speed settings. So I sliced with S3D. I went into my settings and I slowed down to 30 millimeters a second. And there's two other settings I slowed way down. I printed at 220 degrees, 70 on the bed. And it's a fresh roll, straight out of the package. I had almost no stringing on anything. And I've heard that a TPU loves to absorb, absorb moisture quite a bit, a lot faster than a PLA might. So I suggest if you live in a humid climate, and even if you don't, if you're not going to be using all of it right away, store it in a Ziploc bag with condescent packs to absorb all the, absorb all the moisture. If you should get tons and tons of stringing, you're going to want to uh, dry out your filament, whether that be via filament dryer or oven. You'll need to dry out your filament if you have tons of stringing because it absorbed, absorbed too much moisture. Here's a little rocket I did here. One thing cool about TPU is that if you drop this on the floor, it's not going to break. And if your kids were playing with it, they're not going to accidentally break anything. It's a rocket. And I had to do a big old octopus here. All these files came off Thingiverse. And here's another smaller octopus. Probably about the only thing I didn't print was a phone case. But TPU would be good for phone cases. You know, a lot of different things you don't want to break or if you want to play with or be rough with. One problem I did have is I tried to print a basically a sphere instead of a, inside of a sphere. And as soon as it got up where it was very moving because of the soft material, of course it failed. And I was unable to print this, so I can't print everything in TPU. Or I just need to change some settings, but basically it's moving too much. So that one did fail on me. And there's a retro rocket. Came out very nice. All these were printed on my Ender 3 with uh, Capricorn tubing on that one. And my extruders that I have on the printer, I'll show a picture here on the screen, where the filament comes into the extruder, goes through that PTFE tube as seen in the picture. And when it goes right past the gear, which is an all steel gear, it um, exits through that sleeve, steel sleeve so there's not a lot of room there for that filament to back up and push itself out of the extruder. It's got a very tight tolerance there. I put those on all my printers as soon as I build a printer. I go to a Ryan McQueen and I order his extruders and I put on all my printers with all steel gears. Here's a vase, came out real nice. And as you can see, there's a little stringy inside, but that's pretty typical with vases. This was not done in vase mode. I believe my layers were uh, 0, 4, 4 on this one. 0 for the top, obviously, and then 4, 4 bottom and sides, perimeters. It came out real good. And an Eiffel Tower. Now this I tried printing three times. First two times it failed because I, didn't, I wasn't printing on a raft, and for some reason I just wasn't getting enough adhesion on one of my legs. 
and my bed is leveled properly. I have easy ABLs on all them, but once I put it on the raft, it printed fine. And as you can see, there's a little bit of screening inside here, which I didn't clean out. Just, you know, for the sake of the video, I wanted to show you guys. But it came out real good. And my wife wanted to bookmark, so I found this little heart here for a book place and printed it out for her. And here, as you can see, the blue looks very nice. They have many different colors of their TPE online. This came off of Amazon. And I live in Nevada in a dry climate, so there's still quite a bit left on the spool, and I won't be using any more of this right now, so I'm gonna put it in a Ziploc bag, and I'll put condensant packs in there to absorb any kind of moisture that might be in the bag, you know, the air that's in the bag, to keep it dried out. So. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. I hope you liked the short video. Please like and subscribe and ring that bell if you'd like to be notified the next time I go live or I post another video. And you can also find me on social media on Twitter, Instagram, and over on Facebook, 3D Printing and Painting, 3D HP. Below in the description I have, if you'd like to buy me a coffee, I have links for buy me a coffee. If you'd like to help out the channel, I have affiliate links to uh, Ziltech. TH3D and Amazon below. So please like and subscribe. Everybody have a great day. Thank you for watching. Take care.